Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I want to make a little video about um, things I don't like about this bike. This 2021 Lowrider S. Uh, we'll start with the first thing I don't like. It's a kickstand. While we're at the stop sign, put it in neutral. Watch this. You put this sucker down, right? Wheel straight. Set it over. Now, I was always taught to turn the wheel to the left. I don't know where I learned that, but I'm pretty sure that's the right way to do it, right? When you park a bike, you turn the wheel to the left, to the clutch side. Watch this kickstand. Look at that. It just moved five fucking inches. It's crazy, man. It's an accident waiting to happen. You think after 120 years of Harley making bikes, they would know how to make a fucking kickstand. But you would be wrong because they don't. Um, it's a piece of shit. It's dog shit. Uh, not saying the bike is dog shit, but that kickstand is fucking dog shit. Uh, another thing I don't like about this bike are the blinkers. I understand Harley's been doing this for years. Um, I don't see that as an excuse. Uh, I'm a big fan of the metric style shifter on the left hand side. You know the little knob you turn left and right. You push to cancel it. Harley's finally getting it because they put it on their Pan America. I saw it. But um, this, this left to right bullshit sucks. Look at that. It's a groundhog. Anyway, uh, yeah, they suck. Um, they're auto canceling, but they only auto cancel if you uh, make like a fucking 90 degree turn at an intersection. They're not going to auto cancel on the highway. They will eventually turn off. Um, it goes by how many revolutions of the wheel. So if you're flying, they'll cut off pretty quick. But if you're not flying, they're going to stay on, man. Uh, and it's just, it sucks. And they're not, they're not intuitive. They're very mushy, you know? Like you push it, you don't know that you pushed it. It's just like putting your finger in a fucking bowl of mashed potatoes. You know, I want to feel, I want to hear that. I want to feel that click. Uh, and, and you don't get that. Um, another thing I don't like are these uh, these gauges down here. Uh, I can't see them in a, uh, in a full face helmet. Uh, I understand a lot of guys don't like full face helmets. Um, I've had one save my life before. So I'm not trying to take my chances with a fucking brain bucket. Uh, I already know motorcycles are dangerous. Um, so I'm not taking any chances. But my point is that if I want to look at this fucking gauge, I've got to uh, tilt my head all the way down to look at it, which is outrageous. And I know that that's how they've been doing it for 100 years, but that's crap. 100 years ago, they should have put them up here where they belong, where everybody else was putting them. You know, like, this is, this is fucking... This is outrageous man and I get I get um, form over function but this is a rider's bike man you need to be able to see your gauges definitely need to be able to see them um, another thing I don't like about this bike it doesn't have cruise control man what's up with that why doesn't this bike have cruise control it's a $17,000 bike man this is not a Harley fucking standard now I get that um, you know, the kind of guys that are buying this bike aren't really into cruise control. Or, or, they're, or they're not buying it for fucking cruise control, right? But if I don't get my cruise control, man, I'm going to fucking get a big fat ticket. Uh, and I've been waiting on a cruise control unit, which you can buy. I've been waiting it for it for over 100 days from Harley. We're coming up at 130 days I've been waiting for it. So, yeah. Um... What else don't I like about this bike? Oh, it doesn't come with the upgraded motor, man. It's got the it's got the Milwaukee 8 114, which is a glorious fucking motor. But this is called the Lowrider Sport for a reason. You know, they put the aggressive handlebars, they put the dual discs up front, they did all this shit. Um, and they didn't put the 117 in it. Like, what the fuck? You know? Bullshit. Harley fucking nickel and diming everybody, man. And they think that we don't notice, but we do. Um, for sure, we do. I, I would love to have that extra power. Uh, I think that's it for this bike. Um, it does have some dog shit features, but it's not a dog shit bike. Uh, I've got six bikes. I've got three Harleys. I've got two sport bikes and a dual sport. Um, and this is just about the only one that I really ride. Um, there's a reason for that man you know it's comfortable it's, it's fast it does all right in the twisties oh which reminds me of one other thing that they didn't put on this bike that they should have is the uh the mono shock from the uh 
soft tail, I, I believe it's called the Heritage, the one with the bags and the uh, and everything. It's got a taller model shock, so you get a little bit more more clearance, right? It raises up the rear end, so you get more uh, more lean angle. I mean, 32 degrees is all right, but I mean. <laughs> Once you really start to get to know this bike, you're going to be scraping pegs everywhere, man. Everywhere. Um, and a lot of guys that are, that are riding these bikes for real, you know, they're riding them how they were meant to be ridden. They're upgrading to those mono shocks, And it's like, why not just put it on, Harley? You cheap fuckers, man. Um, so I'm not into that shit. That shit sucks. I, fucking nickel and diming shit. They, they should have just put the right shit in in, in charge more you know they should have put in the 117 they should have put the cruise control they should have put fucking the mono shock in there and all they had to do was charge you know three four grand more whatever whatever it costs people will pay it you know if they're paying 17 grand for this for the the sport harley man they they want the the good shit but um i don't know man they're fucking bean counters so Whatever, but, but besides that, besides those gripes, this bike is still fucking awesome. Um, it still needs a few modifications to make it right for me, but you know how that goes with motorcycles. Anyway, guys, um, my rant's over. I made another. I made a video like this before, but I went way too hard. Um, I was about to get banned off YouTube for that shit. Um, so I'm dumbing it down a little bit. Anyway, um, as soon as I get out this turn, I'll cut the GoPro off. Yeah, this thing's an absolute riot. If you're thinking about getting one, I seriously suggest it. Uh, I wouldn't call it a beginner's bike, though. Definitely not. Away. All right, that's all right. I had to glance down there, and see the gas light on. All right, that's a sign. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Y'all be good. To YouTube land. If you're riding, stay safe. All that, all that. Good vibes. Be good. Enjoy your summer.